God is dead. God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves, the murderers of all murderers? What was holiest and mightiest of all that the world has yet owned has bled to death under our knives. Who will wipe this blood off us? Yes, it's true. God is dead, and we have killed him. But are we not free men? What else does the destruction of divinity offer us but an occasion to overpower omnipotence, oust the flames of faith and folly, and finally make men the true masters of meaning? Well, we masters of meaning have forgotten one thing. Meaning does not come from within us. As we look ever inwards to hunt for happiness, the imminence of our impotence to capture said contentment condemns us. Regardless, we supposed masters of meaning, now sabotaged by the shadow of secularism, still refuse to admit defeat. Instead, we accept the words of a woeful and conquered king as true, joining Macbeth as he proclaims, Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Once deemed the discourse of a depressed and defeated tyrant, these words now describe the popular credence of our impoverished culture. In delivering ourselves from divine dominion, we have, in the process, lost all that divinity stands for. Beauty, which leads to virtue. Virtue, which leads to truth. And truth, which leads to meaning. How do we expect our culture to continue when we have abandoned these values? How do we compel progeny to pursue what is meaningful when we have destroyed the very idea of meaning itself? Unlike us, our ancestors were surrounded by meaning. Everywhere they turned, they were encompassed by examples of beauty, truth, and virtue. Beauty beheld in art angelic and agile. Virtue viewed in sculptures strong and saintly. Truth transformed in meaning mystic and moral. In order to recover meaning in the midst of modernity, we must follow the example of our forefathers. As our precursors perceive that meaning does not manifest within, so must we do likewise. As our ancestors sought significance in the treasures of transcendence, so must we do likewise. As our forebears believed the best gift to be given was the continued cultivation of beauty, truth, and virtue to vouchsafe the prosperity of all the world's progeny, so must we do likewise. God is dead, and we have killed him. He has, however, been raised from the grave once before. <laughs>